All right, a lot of things going on at Travelers Championship today. Busy day indeed. Tim Lammers leading our Fox 61 morning news coverage from TPC River Highlands, joining us with the details. Good morning, my friend. <laughs> Good morning, guys. And I'm here with tournament director Nathan Grube, who stopped by for his annual morning visit. Uh, he's busy, but I'm glad that he makes the time for us to sit and talk about how we're doing. Too. Good to That's see right. you. Good to see you. How Good have to you see been? You. I've been well. I've been well. I love doing this every time. You're always very loyal to have us on. Thank well, you. Yeah, thank you. I say it every year. This is my favorite week of the year easily because it's golf. And it's just, <laughs> you forget, you watch golf on TV, you see all some of the best players in the world, and it's sometimes almost a little surreal to see how close yeah. you can get to them. Brooks Kepka, the number one player in the world, was just teeing off right next to us. And believe me, we're not in an exclusive area here. You can come, stand mm. right next him as he's teeing off. Phil Mickelson's coming in two minutes. You can be here for that. This yeah. is, that's the beautiful thing about Pro Am well, Day. It's pretty unique in, in, in golf in our sport. You basically have miles of front row seats, right, is basically what it is. Yeah. I mean, you kind of think about it in the stadium since, like, man, how do I get that seat right up front? But really in golf, I mean, with all the different groups you have, like you mentioned, you can be right up there seeing it, just, I mean, seeing what the caddy interaction is, seeing the player, listening to them think through stuff. Mm -hmm. So golf's pretty unique in that, and we also have a pretty special course that allows that to happen. So it's, uh, it's pretty fun out here when you actually see that happen. And uh, we were talking about the celebrity side of the Pro-Am field and how sports centric mm -hmm. that is this year it has yeah. been a lot of years but i guess yeah. that's just because connecticut likes its sport <laughs> it is and and also who golfs you know you get guys like uh tim wakefield mark to and like they're these professional athletes and like man i want to pick up golf now you know it's like they have that same commitment and dedication and drive to it yeah. and so that's cool and then you get the you know the basketball and you get with ray allen and the football and it's pretty cool you actually broke it up very well i mean you, you need to come work for the tournament how you were talking about the celebrity pro-am so it was yeah, very impressive I do it on a pro bono basis too <laughs> and you know and and then if you follow people like Phil Mickelson on Twitter, you know, he's a big sports fan. He's always yeah. throwing footballs around. You know what it reminds me of? There's an old saying, like, actors always want to be musicians. Yeah. And musicians want to be actors. Yeah. I feel like, you know, the four <laughs> other major sports, they all want to be the golfers, and golfers yeah. wish they could play those other sports, it, too. It's funny. I think those athletes know that you can play golf for a lifetime. They know there's kind of a window for their sport, but they're like, hey, I can play this sport for yeah. a long, long time. Yeah, no, Phil's crazy. He's, he's a great athlete himself, but I mean, so he plays left-handed, but he throws right-handed, and the first time he did that, yes. it's like, really? You're going to be that good at golf, and you can flip around and throw it the other way? So it's, uh, I mean, but it's cool to see two point. They're athletes, and they want to compete, and uh, they love coming out here competing against those guys. I believe Phil learned to be a lefty because he was mirroring his father's swing yeah, growing yeah. up, and his father was a righty, and if you're standing there looking at him, yeah. you wind up going off. And by the way, there was just the, the roar for him on the first tee. Yeah. He's just teeing off, so you can get him for the next four hours. Uh, well, how big is it for the tournament getting Phil while we're on that topic? Oh, it was awesome. I mean, it started, you know, obviously Brooks committing as the number one player in the world, committing early in the year, and then Justin Thomas and Bryson. And we had like three of the top ten in the world before, I mean, it was even, you know, the snow wasn't even thinking about melting. And then yeah. Phil coming was just this awesome push where people are so excited to have him back. And he's excited to be back. He loves his golf course, loves these fans, two-time champion here. So it's, uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, talk to me about the Celebrity Mini Golf Tournament. 10 oh. o'clock. That's turned into a yes. roast. That's like the Friars Club roast. We're it, just sitting there murdering people. That's not entirely accurate, but <laughs> uh, let's say I do have fun, though. Uh, but they <laughs> now have tryouts for these teams, you know, yeah. to get into the Celebrity Mini Golf. So, I mean, we have uh, you know, uh, people like yourself and, you know, and other, other friends that will come down there and play. Um, but uh, the winning team gets to donate $2,500 to the charity of their choice. And uh, it's become very, very competitive. It has. Yeah. you got to watch for some shenanigans. I'm not going to mention names. It's an official that. golf term, shenanigans. Yeah, you know, moving balls. I'm going to move this past the Lego. I'm going to go on the other side of King Kong. Uh -huh. So, yeah. The five, six mulligans. It's all good. Good to see you again. Good to see you, Tim. Thanks He's going to be much. back here tomorrow morning just to talk a little bit more about the player field. And, of course, we didn't even brush on all the other family-friendly things there are to do to make sure that you can bring your whole family here, mm -hmm. even if they're not all golf fans. That's another part of what makes a Travelers Championship great. But, guys, we're going to send it back to you in the studio and be back here with more in just a little bit. Amanda, Jimmy, and myself, second place last year. So, Margot, we're hoping she can bring back the gold. Yeah, hopefully. Go yeah. team. Go team, indeed.